This Veterans Day weekend is that shot off the glass is no good. An offensive rebound to start the day. Put back is good and an and one already. Coming up. Lahat Chun is just, he's, he's really active. He's going to be active on the glass. The Oats go back to work. That ball got tipped away. Ended up in the hands of the big man. He'll work inside. Nice kick out again. That three is good. We've seen that play now twice. And it's been successful twice. Now Brun swings it around left side. Boston Holt getting it down low. Chun the turnaround off the glass and good. Oh my, he's having himself a whale of a first half. Tough finish there by Chun. Goes baseline, spins back to the middle. Impressive. Nice drive there and a finish inside for Abdul Hakim. And he, he's a guy, he's so versatile, can do a little bit of everything. Had 11 and 11 their first game on Monday night. 11 points, 11 rebounds. Williams will hand it off here at the top of the key. They'll try to take some time off the clock. Now under 12, we'll get to our next media timeout momentarily. That one off the glass is good for Elijah Elliott. Stretch. DeAnthony Tipler will check back in at the next whistle. Kramer. Found Birchill, top of the key. That three is good. Inside the Sanford Pentagon as you take a look at the replay. Confidence from Birchill at the end, holding up the three. Now the Vaqueros have five team fouls. Coyotes with just one. Stewart drives in, a little scoop shot too strong off the glass. Abdul Hakim is going to push it out in transition. There's Elliott trying to get a front of the pack, and he does with the right-handed finish. Yeah, he's making Stewart work right now as Boston Holt bails him out. Bruns with the extra pass into the corner of the three. That one's good. Three-point bucket for Brostrom. Felix Brostrom, the 6'8 sophomore out of Gothenburg, Sweden. And that is what a great pick-and-pop guy. There you can see him setting a ball screen up top. Nice pass, the lefty for three, Bruns knocks it in, Coyote offense. Yeah, he was Summit League, he was, he was kind of finding his way, finding yeah. his own, and, and um, you know, not really playing probably the type of role that he's capable of. Texas Rio Grande Valley, 7 of 23 from the field. As they struggle offensively, and Chun, boy, he's not struggling. A great first half. About three or four of those already today. First player into double figures this evening as that shot misses. Chun had the rebound tipped out of his hands. It's had an open shooter there for a moment, but Williams gets caught in traffic, now loses the ball himself. Another turnover. Boston Holt kicks it outside. Birchill the head fake. Now the three. And that Chun with 13. Stewart has nine. Bruns with five points. Both Bruns, in fact, with five points. Here's Isaac. Give him seven. A good possession. Got that bucket there a moment ago. Now looking for a stop defensively. Trying to find any type of rhythm they can late in this first half. But, boy, this Coyote team can shoot it from deep. Felix Brostrom, the 6'8 sophomore, drains a three. Yeah, his second, his second one on the night. Three from the top of the key is no good for the Vaqueros. And off. Elliott wants to try to go back inside, force that pass into traffic, though, and another turnover. That's Lahat Chun going to work inside with a new defender in front of him. Doesn't matter. Gets the bucket, gets the foul, and a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. What he's had to work with here so far. JJ, the left shoulder, right hand jump hook. Chune has the early run and jump trap there by South Dakota. See, and that's what when you can consistently get people sped up and you force those ball handlers to make decisions, and, and right now that's ended up. Brostrom, another three. Four Coyotes with nine or more first half points here this evening. That shot's no good. Another quick rebound for USD. Shot clock is turned off. Bruns spinning away from the defender. Gets it across the line. Now finds his way inside. That one's no good. Bruns went flying. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. That one off the glass just before the half is good. The officials will say it counts. 
and has played and produced at the high major level. And so when they were they were adding him here to their Summit League roster, they were really excited to get him and everything that he brings to the table. In 15 minutes, Coyotes finding Stewart, the defender slipping behind him. Now Chun triple teamed, cleared out some space. That one's no good. Freeman with Elliott wanted to foul that time. A much better effort from Stewart, and now Elliott returns the favor with a turnover of his own and goes the other way for the right-handed layup. Matchup zone here. A little bit different look. Nice baseline drift pass. Stewart couldn't get that to fall. Elliott will push the tempo in the other direction. This one to the outside. Left-handed three from the left wing. Rattles in and out. Boy, Nate, that was about three quarters of the way down and encapsulates their struggles from three all night long as Stewart goes coast to coast on the other end. Nine tenths of the way down. Elliott on the drive now, floats that one in just inside the free throw line. It's like he does not have a conscience, right? When he's open, he's letting that thing fly, gets his own offensive rebound, same deal. Ends up hitting a little mid-range J. High off the glass and good is Aaron Freeman again. again. Bodies go flying as Elliott tried to find his way inside. Nothing working there. Williams hands it right back to him. This one deep and good for Elijah Elliott. And he was kind of their one bright spot in the first half and continuing here that in the second. Birchill off the glass. That's good. And a nice answer on the other end for Max Birchill. Five of six shooting to add in three rebounds and three assists. Elliott. Three from the other side, that's no good. Kramer with the rebound, and here comes 75-50. The Vaqueros continue to extend their pressure. Shot clock running down. That's off the front side of the iron, no good. Elliott with the rebound. Elliott in transition again, off the glass, and boy, there goes that man again. He's got 25 points now on the day. And it can, be, it can be tough to do. You want to continue to focus on the process and not play the scoreboard. There's a nice extra pass. Caleb Stewart wide open for three. He knocks it in. Stewart. Talking about Elijah Elliott, though, as he watches on right now with his teammates battling inside. A nice finish there for C.J. Jackson, the 6'7 senior. A couple days ago against uh, Southwest Advantage is also his career high. He had 14 points in that sits game. Sits at 0-1 on the season. They lead by one at home, 27-26. Maybe the surprise of the night, though, right now, Oral Roberts taking on an NAIA team. Uh, Mid-America just regained the lead, but they were down a moment ago. It's 66-63 to with two minutes left to go in that one. Elliott with another steal into the front court to Brashear, and that one is good off the glass. Under seven minutes left to go now as Bruns got tangled up. We do have Chun back in the game. They tried to feed it to him, but that one's taken away by Hassan Abdul Hakim, finding Elliott down low and another bucket. Did a good job here tonight overall. One of three players in double figures for the Oats. There are four, actually five different Coyotes players who have scored eight or more points here tonight. Yeah, yeah, that balance is just, it's tough to defend, it's tough to stop when you have different guys that are stepping up and converting and making big shots. And there's another nice pocket bounce pass by Hakeem as we... Nice kick to the corner, anticipated though by Elliott and he's got another steal. A little push off there maybe, but no whistle and the bucket is good for Elliott. Coyotes have a challenging non-conference schedule as well. They'll have DePaul coming up on Tuesday in the Virginia Military Institute on Friday as we get a little sky show there that time from Hassan Abdul Hakim. Are kind of limping their way into the finish line here today with a lot of effort coming from these Vaqueros over the last few minutes. Yeah, they take chances defensively. They rotate extremely um, aggressive. Had a little bit of an ankle injury early in this second half of action, but has been back out there running well. Maybe with the game getting a little tighter than Coach Peterson would like, has brought some of these starters back in. Three-point shooting, as we mentioned, has been hot and cold for the Coyotes. It's just been playing cold today for the Vaqueros. As Stewart drives in strong, gets that one off the glass, and a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. He makes when he's out there on the floor, though. He handles the basketball well. Such a pest as far as trying to control him. as a Well, a good win here tonight in the neutral site court for the Coyotes. Good start for them. They're 2-0 now with the win here today. 
As Elliott drives in strong, his shot blocked by Kramer. What an effort in the first half for the Yotes. They will hold on for the big win here today. The fans in red showing appreciation for the Coyotes, who are 2-0 in this young season.